Some of the challenges data engineering managers face is there's not enough data engineers to meet the current demands of business, as well as the lack of reuse of code. So here we're looking at a project within Datamere and an example use case of a data engineer being tasked to pivot on some data. So here we can use Datamere's point and click transformations to do some various um, filters and data extractions, you know, really as part um, of the discovery process. And we can see Datamere's interactive uh, workbench here in play. And also we can combine this with inserting SQL. So it's really a combination. So we can enter a new SQL view. And here we can put in a query to do some various filters and some joins. Um, and then see the preview of that, the available columns and the output. So it's a very visual, interactive uh, workbench. Um, and so we also keep track of the lineage flow there within, so it's very easy to visually see which steps we've taken and how we've combined various um, code and non-code transformations. And some things are just simply easier to do um, via point and click. So the delivery mechanism is going to be this pivot table, which I'm constructing. And here is Datamere's interactive uh, workbench. Um, and you could see here it's you know very easy right to create a new um, pivot something that which is you know not super straightforward um, within writing SQL. Um, so here we have our pivot table constructed, um, and once we have constructed that within the design environment, you know we can then publish that to Snowflake either as a view or as a table, and then we can look on the Snowflake side and see that all that code that we didn't, you know, have to write there. Um, so, and we can also, you know, consume that with um, various BI tools. So, you know, we took a quick look at how we can use Datamere, you know, from a data engineering persona and the combination of point and click and SQL to deliver and turn around use cases much faster.